I was born in Amman. And since my childhood, I was never curious about academia. And I was surrounded by a community that defines success through that. You have to be smart, you have to be bold, an A student with a specific behaviors, and that was the total opposite of me. I felt invisible. I'm not that virgin of success. I started losing passion toward myself, my family, friends, school, and every single thing around me to a degree where I split into the mindset that happy, successful, beautiful, intelligent, lucky people are born to be that. And I said to myself, you know what, Darin? You have to live life where you really don't care. And I started to rebel against this crazy world. Nope, I'm not listening. I'm not going to be the person who you want me to be. I hated following rules and regulations. I blamed family for being miserable. I blamed the victim of my own life. I felt zero detached and any sense of belonging from anything around me. And I only felt invisible, which led me to a very painful journey during my university years as a student of computer graphics and animation who was trying to step in the animation world and outside the scholarly world. I hated every single subject in my course. And I always thought, when I once I enter university life, I will be free. But I was only getting more tied up. People graduate in four years, and I graduated in five and a half years. And it felt like I have wasted my youth and something that was only giving me pain. Darin, you are doomed. I felt so low. I was not only invisible, but I was dead. I got hired at a great animation company. It was called P Wiki Kiwis. A, young, a bunch of young animators who works on producing Arabic content. Each one of them looked different. They spoke freely. They have their own identity and unique style. And there sparked the curiosity and the inspiration inside me. And I felt like I want to be part of this cool, creative community. They started giving me simple tasks to be done. And I didn't know how to do any of them, even the simplest, simplest ones. It was the first time I remember that I felt really ashamed and embarrassed of myself. And I said, I'm not leaving this space. I need to learn. So I spent the morning working at the company and the night learning, exploring, and experiencing the animation as if I did not learn it from before. Few months later, one of the most inspiring people in the company, who was a character designer, he called me on a Thursday night while I was getting dressed up, going dining with my friends, celebrating the weekend. He was like, hi, Darian. I know Thursday nights are so important to you, but here's the thing. There's something called Startup Weekend Amman, where you basically come up with an idea, you implement it in three days, and you pitch it in front of the judges. And the winner will take 1,000 JDs. What do you think? It's going to start in an hour. Do you want to join me? I'm like, this is so not interesting to me. <laughs> I'm not going to be doing that over the weekend. I want to go somewhere, chill and relax. He's like, Darien, for God's sake, just do one thing unusual in your life. <laughs> and that sentence made me drop everything and join the competition. And those three nights were the most incredible, life-changing nights of my life. It's about putting myself into something that is unknown, coming up with an ideas out of the box, putting time and energy unconditionally. And there, I met a new version of myself, someone who was driven, motivated, excited, and organically, I started leading the team towards success and winning the game. The little invisible became as large as life. And I still remember the feeling of success when they announced me and my team won the prize. Me and my team took the first prize and we won the competition. And that wonderful feeling that I had, it was unforgettable. It was not about winning the competition or the prize. It's about the authentic Darien that revealed itself to me. I got back home and I played the events in my head. And I got so emotional and started crying helplessly. And those were the tears of joy. A few days later, 
the guy that he called me up to join him for the competition, he called me and he said, you know what? I can't get over what we have done together. We did an amazing job at the competition, right? I'm like, yeah, it was great. The experience was out of the world. I got, he was like, they didn't listen. We need to quit our jobs and start our own animation studio. And I believe we can do magical work and we can like compete internationally and he was really excited. And that feeling of being that visible to someone made me say yes without being hesitant or doubtful for a second. We started our own animation studio. It was called Panic Studio. And the name expresses our situation. <laughs> we were panicking the whole time, <laughs> but we only loved the name. We thought we're gonna be, it's gonna be a crazy name. But seriously, the journey was from hell to back. It was filled with obstacles, hardships, uncertainty, doubts, fear. And most importantly, we were financially ruined. And let's not forget about people's opinion and interference once you wanna tell them you wanna start something by your own. Especially in the creative industry. It was nothing but letting us down. But we said we have to make it a point to ourselves and everyone that this will work out. And we made it decently. One year later, my partner decided to quit. He said, I want to start my own journey by doing more art and traveling the world. So here I am. I was left alone in this dream that suddenly felt so empty and dull. And at that time, I had no other option but to stay in the company. So I honored it, and I complete my journey in Panic Studio. One day, I applied for my first bid, and I won funding to create two animation films for a big organization. And it was a very successful project. At that time, I started getting from project to another, and I got so busy, and started saving a lot of money from my production. One day, I was thinking, what do I want to do with the money that I've saved? And I felt no desire to go outside, spending them with friends or go shopping or uh, pay a half payment, down payment for a car or anything to upgrade things that I need to get for myself. The only thing that I felt I needed to do is to explore myself. I felt that there is something inside me that needed to grow. Yes, I need to get out of my comfort zone. I have to travel to be by, with my, by my own and to explore myself. So at that time, for me to get out of Amman with no reason for my parents, that didn't make sense. So I had to come up with something reasonable. So I started looking for internships, courses, jobs, anything. And I found this course that captured my heart. It was filmmaking in New York Film Academy in New York City. So imagine what had happened to me when I saw this the title, the description, and everything, it's like a dream will come true. I said, this is it. I'm going to New York City to visit this dream city, to explore myself, and to learn filmmaking. The power when you get to choose the path and education is unlike any other power. I took every single penny that I saved to live life filled with inner growth, beautiful experiences, meeting wonderful people, and most importantly, falling in love with the process of filming. Dareem became whole because that part that was invisible now has a voice and it was so loud. Luckily, in New York City, I was surrounded by wonderful people. Each one of them has his own unique story all of them has overcame the struggles, the obstacles, the hardships to reach, to reach their dreams. And whenever I listened to their stories, it felt like it's a fuel to my soul. I could stay there forever just listening and listening. And there it was the first time for me to be, in to be introduced to the word purpose. And I realized it's the reason for our existence and it's what makes us feel one with this universe. And I started questioning myself, Darin, what is your story? What is your dream and what is your purpose? At the time when I was loving myself, the city, my friends, exploring new things, doing films all over this beautiful city, I had to come back to Amman. And I felt the desire to give back to my hometown, to support it and to have a positive impact. 
I landed Amman. And I asked myself, Darin, when was the time that you experienced greatest joy in your life? And when was the time that you felt timeless? It was the time when I was listening to people's stories, inspirations, and successes. It was the time when someone made me feel visible. When I got those two answers in my head, I got so emotional, and I got those really intense emotions that made me sure I found my purpose. I said to myself, this ultimate feeling of fulfillment made me sure that I found it. I created my dream project, A Minute Marvel. It's a one minute video portrait featuring passionate people telling their stories, experiences behind their success. Starting from Jordan to all over the world. I will live life to make the invisible heroes visible to the world and to inspire everyone to start following their dreams. I found my purpose and I finally feel home. Thank you.